Hi, this is Margaret from Noble Desktop, and today we will be looking at the interface of Premiere Pro. When you open up Premiere Pro, depending on what workspace you're in, you will see a number of different panels. I'm in the editing workspace. Go to Window, Workspaces, and choose Editing. Here we have the media browser, where you store all the footage that you plan to use to create your movie. You also have more of an easy access to your footage. I tend to go right to my project. My project is called Panels and import the media right on this first page here. This also has a number of assets that you could have in your personal library, info on your clips, effects, which is also a workspace by the way. You have markers which help you organize your footage and then you have history. These are all visible here in this drop down menu. But this browser, for the most part, I stay in the project panel and you would double click here to bring in footage, command I, whatever you'd like. I'm going to double click. I have Camino Fuente. This is the footage I'd like for this project. I could just click on the, on the folder itself and that'll bring in not only the footage, but bring in the footage in that bin. The bins are located on the bottom of your browser screen the ability to further organize your footage if you saw fit. For example, maybe in this one I have titles. That's where I'll put all my titles for Camino Fuente. So now that we have footage in our browser, if we double click on it, it'll appear in the source <coughs> monitor. The source monitor is where we choose the in and out points that will make up our movie. I for in, O for out. I'll press I again. You can press I as many times as you'd like. Just, I'm doing this very randomly. You might remember insert and override as editing tools. But if I click insert, nothing happens. I don't yet have a timeline. So these don't work. If I were to click command N, I would get a dedicated timeline that I could use for my film. Or an alternate plan would be to take this clip and drag it to the timeline. Now what this does is it will take the name of this clip. This clip is called Camino Fuente Cam 1. So you have to remember to rename it over here. And I'm going to rename this lesson. So now we have a timeline or a sequence. Those two words are used interchangeably. And now you can use insert or overwrite. I want to insert this right there, comma. Obviously, I wouldn't do that, but command Z. <laughs> so now that we have something on our timeline, whatever's on the timeline, we're able to see in the program monitor what our film looks like. Maybe I want a close-up of him. I'm going to pretend that the song doesn't matter. And I have my playhead here that acts like an endpoint. Now I'm going to press comma or period, it doesn't really matter because nothing's in its way, comma. So now I have two clips on the timeline. And these are reflected in the program monitor window. If I were to take any one of my clips and double click on them, and then look in the effects control, I'm given a ton of options. Whatever you want to do with this particular clip is done in the source monitor area under effects control. There's also clip mixers, which is for another lesson. If I put an effect on this clip, which I'll do right now, I'll go to my effects tab in the browser, video effect, maybe I'll blur this. I'm just going to, my clip is clicked on. I'm going to double click Gaussian blur. Now that becomes part of the menu of options of things I can do with this clip. I could increase, I can put this out here. Maybe I want this to be super blurry for whatever reason. So now I've just made that blurry. I, I think not, I'll get rid of that. Um, I could say this is a nice shot, but I wish it was not quite that large. I'll double click on my clip, effects control, motion, and maybe I will increase the scale just a little bit. It also increase the position. So that's an overview of what these windows mean. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson 
on the Premiere Pro interface. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.